There's something special about the IPA. Perhaps it's a unique but distinct flavor profile that typically accompanies a brew, something that any beer drinker can initially taste. Yet the possibilities of brewing an IPA are endless. The processes and decisions that go into making each beer its own are chock full of hop and malt choices, bitterness factors, mouthfeel, and aroma profiles. Still, it's not an easy task, which is why so many IPAs seem so unremarkable, especially to a trained tongue. Noob, a delectable American IPA from Odd 13 Brewing, is a wonderful collection of the aforementioned decisions and works as an incredibly easy drinking experience that you likely won't forget. Odd 13 Brewing is a craft beer brewery founded by Kristen and Ryan Scott in Lafayette, Colorado. They feature a creative collection of beers that, from an optical pat down, appear delicious. A simple look at their year-round beer list will confirm an awesome lineup. Heck, they brewed a beer called Spruce Campbell. What more do I need to say? But what really catches the eye with Out 13 is its terrific artwork that accompanies the drinks. Created in-house by friends and staff and typically takes on the appearance of traditional comic book art. Noob is an American IPA that features mosaic and Eldorado hops and a beautiful golden color, approximately 7 to 8 SRM if I had a guess. Combined with an ABV of 6%, Noob produces a delicious fruity flavor with a mouth-watering taste to match while restraining the overall bitterness of traditional IPAs, probably landing at or below 40 IBUs. With a silky smooth mouthfeel and an overall lightness to the beer, Noob is a perfect midsummer drink. It's easily one of the best beers I've had this year, and it's well worth the try if you get the chance. Now, I've paired Noob with High Res Studios' most recent effort, Rogue Company. Rogue Company is a squad based, fast paced third person shooter. It borrows elements from games like Counter Strike and Overwatch, but it produces an experience of its own. It's currently in the early access stage of its life, now featuring three game modes. Demolition, Strikeout, and Extraction. The former mode is very Counter-Strike-esque, requiring one team to set and detonate an explosive while the other team attempts to prevent the first from accomplishing that mission. The first of seven successful attempts and defenses wins. Proper strategy in T-Burk is advisable here, requiring your squad of four to expertly work together or fail miserably. Strikeout works as a mix between a team deathmatch and stationary king of the hill mode. One team will control a single objective that only moves between rounds. The goal is to control the objective while eliminating the enemy. Each squad begins with 12 tickets, and each time a squad member is killed, the team loses a ticket. Owning the objective will also deplete enemy tickets after a timer countdown. Proper teamwork, again, and base control can turn the tides of battle here quickly. Now, before each match and between each round, players are able to buy weapons and upgrades in a Counter-Strike-like store. Each character has his or her own set of unique loadouts with the exception of sidearms, some main weapons, and some of the abilities that overlap each other, mostly dependent upon a class type of build. Additionally, you're going to buy abilities like quick reloads or quick revives, among other more expensive and useful abilities. What makes Rogue Company a standout experience for me, though, is its quick gunplay even balancing and breakneck game. No match will last longer than 15 minutes, and each round is relatively quick, meaning you can maximize your gaming sessions to get the most out of your time. Even in early access, Rogue Company has had few issues and performs relatively well. Like Noob, Rogue Company takes its standard genre, the competitive team play shooter, and infuses it with its own flair. There's a bit of a learning curve here, but the payoff is worth it. If High Res is as committed to Rogue Company as it has been for its other titles, then you can expect a plethora of characters, cosmetics, and upgrades to drop regularly. Both are well worth the try, especially if they fall within your normal tastes. As always, please drink responsibly. <laughs>